now what is up everybody my name is mike brown aka review king mb and yes the flash is back the flash season five the premiere i just got done watching it and ultimately it was a decent episode i'm not saying i loved it i almost <laughs> was starting to hate it at the beginning but it came around it did bring me some of the heart that i like from the flash let's start with the beginning we see we begin right where we left off with barry and iris's daughter nora allen i do like that she's named after barry's mother that was nice and of course she's here she claims that she can't run fast enough to get back to her timeline so she's stuck here and everyone's trying to help her through that and during this period i was so annoyed with nora as a character she was always just on top of barry hovering over him asking all these questions like she had add or something and especially the moment where she caused barry to lose the villain of the week and i was just like like come on not only should you know better nora but you could have stopped gridlock from escaping even if you did accidentally cause barry to get hit why did you just fall what the hell i just thought great we brought in a new character that was somehow some way more annoying than ralph even though I know some people like Ralph. I know what, I did not mind Ralph. I don't know if it was because I was so annoyed with Nora in the beginning, but I did find it amusing when Ralph just now realized that time travel is possible, that the multiverse is a thing. It was funny because we all, we've known that since what? Season one of The Flash? And the fact that there's a character that doesn't know that or he just wasn't paying attention during the meetings and, and <laughs> just discovering it now. Like, I thought that was clever. And he wasn't in the episode all, all that much. So that helped. Nora became less annoying and more endearing once we found out that she was lying about not being able to go back. That she, she really came here on purpose to spend time with Barry, her father. Because in the future... What do you know? The timeline screwed up again. The Flash has disappeared for like over 25 years. So she didn't grow up with Barry there in her life. And that became sad. It did. It made me sympathetic towards her. It made me understand her. I don't really know if I care for how almost rude she's being towards Iris. Maybe Iris is... Uh, neglectful to her because she lost Barry too. And the fact that Barry didn't tell Iris this pisses me off because you know that's going to be a huge thing later where yet again somebody's keeping something from somebody where it's like you can't just tell her this really Barry you can't just tell Iris why the daughter's there and what happens in the future and how many times like it was funny when even Iris had to sit Barry down and say look you're you're really worried about the timeline after you've done this, 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 and this, and this? <laughs> How many times have we screwed up the timeline? How many times have we as characters been selfish and we've changed the timeline to save someone or do something we weren't supposed to do? Numerous times. So why make this any different? Let Nora stay here. And that's what they end up doing by the end of it. So she's going to stay here for however long as she can. Because... What I wrote down, fuck the timeline. <laughs> and and uh, I, I do want to mention The Flash's new suit. Because there's really nothing else to mention. Gridlock was a nothing villain, a nothing character. Uh, but The Flash getting his brand new bright red, true to form comic book suit was great. It, it looks great. I love the just the bright red color. It's something that we've severely needed I don't know if it's going to help the writing or the quality of the show, but it is nice to see the Flash looking more like the Flash that I know and grew up with. And and also, let's talk about Caitlyn's father, who I guess faked his death or whatever the hell is going to come up with that. I don't know right now if I care about it, but I do think they should. They should make Caitlyn's father 
either a villain or one of the main plots of the season so that I can become invested, so that I can care. Because I do like Caitlyn as a character, and I don't just want them to do a bunch of convoluted things with her backstory that just makes all of this seem dumb. I was thinking, though, while I was watching this episode, I would probably love this show. Like, look, I loved season one. I really enjoyed season two, and then it's gone downhill since. But I would still probably love the other seasons. And I would I would be so much more into this if I was 10 years younger. Because <laughs> I remember how much I was into Smallville because I was so young. And I did not care about inconsistent writing. I did not care about lack of character development. For example, Wally West is so wasted. Why? Why do they keep doing this? Why did they get rid of him last season just to put him on Legends? Honestly, I thought he was great on Legends, and it was great to have a speedster on Legends, but then he leaves there just to come back here for one episode and then leave again. I heard something about the actor not really wanting to do this, and maybe I can't blame him when you see how much they haven't been doing with him, but it just it sucks. They should be doing more with this Wally character. I, I really would have liked for him to stay on Legends. And... Uh, it was cool to see our team, Wally included, and Nora and Barry, phase a plane through a bridge and onto the water, avoid crashing. That was a cool effect, especially for a TV budget. And who is this Doctor Doom looking character that shows up at the end and I guess kills Gridlock or he's doing whatever. He has that lightning bolt weapon thingamajig. I hope it's not yet another lame villain because... That last villain, good God, let's not, please, let's not be as bad as that. I am hopeful so far. I'm not saying this is going to be perfect. I'm not even saying it's going to be great, but I'm hopeful that this season of The Flash is enjoyable, is at least fun in the right ways, not too corny and cheesy, and, and, and I want some emotion. I want to feel something here because if not, honestly, I'm going to say right now, if, if this season sucks... I can't take another season. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop watching The Flash if this season is horrible. So guys, let me know in the comments below if you too saw this first episode of season 5. Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Are you just not digging The Flash? Have you already given up a while ago? Like, comment, subscribe. Later. Oh yeah. Say it.